Hi everyone, this is Pawan and today we are going to build this the X axis and Z axis setup for the CNC. Welcome back to my channel Dynamics. This is the third video in the CNC series in which I will demonstrate how to build a CNC machine from scratch in less than $150. In this video we are going to build the X axis and Z axis setup and uh, as you can see I've made a CAD model for this. The Z axis depth is about 30 mm but we will not be able to use all the depth. We will, I will come to that. And uh, these are the parts we are going to use. The Z axis and X axis have both linear guide principles. They, are also, they will also use the same bearings and uh, nut setup that were used in the other gantries, Y axis gantries. This is the X axis gantry plate. This will go horizontally. The holes are uh, made same 100 mm apart. And the other holes are required to mount it on top of these plywood. Now the Z-axis uh, gantry, Z-axis rail, instead of using angle holders, I've used these plywoods because I wanted to use uh, thinner angles in order to reduce the weight for this. So I'm using 3mm angles and these, th these width is also 53mm exactly. So if you use 3mm angles and 53mm uh, wide uh, plywood pieces like this then also the 100 mm holes that we discussed in the last video the same principle will work the, the bearings will be exactly aligned properly so as you can see one of the plywood the pieces is smaller than the other that is required to hold the bump in the belt clamp so let's get started a drill counter hole on the plywood to make sure that uh, the uh, flat screws don't come out and interfere with the Z axis. I'm using one inch 4mm screws. This At this point of time, we will start uh, attaching the X axis gantry plate to the Z axis. And it's reasonably straightforward. Just go ahead and tighten. I've, I've used about 10 bolts. That is required. And the next step is to place the angles and use the belt clamps to tighten. Before that, I wanted to add uh, the bolts for the X-axis gantry now itself. Because once we have placed the angles, we will not be able to. You don't have to complete this process now. Just one nut is enough. Just so it is held in place. That is all it takes at this point of time. And we will add the bearings on this later towards the end. Otherwise, it will be hard to maintain. Now let's add the angles. This is a reasonably straightforward process. It took some time for me to do it. And uh, use the, uh, the pump on the... Um, yeah, it is reasonably straightforward as you can see. On the downside, you have to make sure that the belt clamp bump is in that space. That is the only uh, caveat in this. As you can see, I have made sure of that. On the bottom side, you can see that the bump went inside that space. That is the only caveat in this. For lead screw setup, I'm using this. This is uh, part of 3D printer setup I had before. Uh, it is about 30 mm and it comes with these uh, metal pieces bearing bearing holder and a delrin nut now obviously if you don't have this you don't have to use this you, you can go ahead and use something like this online it costs about 11 dollars and it comes with the lead screw nut bearing bearing holder and the coupler for the motor along with this you are going to need motor holders but the like these but these you can make them as part of your original uh, uh, design like when we were making the um, gantry plates you can make these pieces as part of that it will not cost you extra because they're very small now i pre-drilled the holes into the plywood and uh, i made sure that it is uh, properly aligned there is no trick in this it's reasonably straightforward you can use the edge of the metal and align it to the edge of the plywood that's all it takes so the only catch in this was the belt clamp was interfering with the, um, the bearing holder screw there like that. So if you clear it, that is fine. In this case, the motor holder 
has some flexibility here you can see there is some space on the motor shaft so you can move it up and down as required that is all there is no other uh, catch in this next step is to mount the z gantry plate on the z rails so these four holes here are aligned with the uh, delrin plate that came with the 3d printer and i made sure that the i i made, I made sure that they align properly okay, this is the uh, spindle mount this goes here reasonably forward i cut a belt clamp and used that originally i had thought that we will use bearings first as in we mount the bearings onto the gantry plate first and then we will attach this to the a metal plate on the nut and as you can see it will not work so I have removed the bearings and I have placed the 1 uh, inch bolts and uh, and uh, just assembled it this part is reasonably straightforward make sure you use washers and uh, just tighten it there is no catch in this that's it and uh, now we will start adding the bearings uh, the principle of the bearings is same instead but instead of using uh, three nuts to space to provide space between angle and the gantry plate i am not using those additional nuts and just leaving that space open this is required because it will take some time to align the bearings along with the uh, lead screw if you go ahead and blindly tighten it then it will put a lot of pressure on the lead screw so what you need to do is leave some space in the middle and slowly tighten one after the other making sure that all four bearings are actually touching the angle and also it is not putting any pressure on the lead screw this took some time for me but it is okay maybe 10 15 minutes of time for me you have to make sure that everything is clear nothing is putting any pressure nothing is interfering with anything else and uh, you need to tighten one at a time and don't go all the way slowly you need to tighten one after the other and make sure that all bearings are touching the angle and it is smooth at every step you have to keep checking this that is the only thing there is no other catch and it's done like i said it took me some time but uh, i finally got it done as you can see here now the only catch in this was that this bearing holder as i mentioned before that was interfering with the belt clamp so i moved it up a little bit or move the angles down a little bit and that took care of that problem i don't know if you can see it but it, it actually made a mark there everything is tight and snug everything is perfect now and it moves very smoothly next step is to add the uh, spindle mount which is made from a uh, uh, belt clamp i just cut it in the half and uh, turned it into a shape of u as you can see so i'm using 1 inch screws 1 inch bolts and uh, there you go it's done I've used washers to hold the clamp in place and that's it. The next step is to mount this onto the X axis. The principle is same as before but in this case the longer bolts are on top because the motor will go on top. There you go. It is done. and as you can see it looks really good and it moves really smoothly there is no resistance obviously this we have already done this but the z axis also it is really smooth in fact you don't actually have to turn the screw you can just simply move it down apply a little pressure and it will start moving up and down i'm very happy with the way this turned out this is it for this video see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click on the like icon and uh, don't forget to subscribe Thanks for your support.